Hi guys, and welcome to the second video in the series on coding your very own DIY gaming console, BIT. In this video, we'll show you how to make a game where you have to guess a randomly generated number between 0 and 20. The wacky robots love this game. Let's kick things off. Click on the new sketch and type in guess my number. Once again, we can hide the code editor since we'll be using blocks. Now we can start coding. First, let's create all the variables we'll need for this game. There's gonna be seven of them. Game start, high score, current number, current score, target number, number guessed, and hint text. This time, let's also create a function and call it generate numbers. You can do that by dragging this block from the functions section and inputting the name as shown here. Now, let's define our variables like the wacky robots taught us. Set game start to true and high score to zero using the following blocks. These next five variables will be defined inside the function we just created, since we want to be able to call on that function again and have them reset. Set current number to zero, as that will be your starting point when the game begins. Set the current score to 20. If you guess it correctly on the first try, this will be your score. But for every wrong guess, your score will drop by one point. The goal of the game will be to guess the number with the least amount of guesses. Set the target number to a random integer between 1 and 20. Those will be the numbers we can choose from, so the target number needs to be set within that interval. Set number guessed to false, because at the start of the game, you haven't guessed the correct number yet. And finally, set hint text to an empty text block like this. Next, let's create another function and call it guessed number. This function will define what happens when we click the A button and the number we inputted is compared to the target number. Put the if do else block from the logic section. Now take this comparison block from the logic section and put the variables current number and target number inside. If those numbers are equal, it means that you guessed the correct number. We need to set the number guessed to true and the hint text to display the message, you guessed it. You can do that by using the following blocks. We also need to check if the high score variable needs to be updated. To do that, add another if do block inside this do statement and set it up as shown here. If the current score is bigger than the high score, the high score variable will be set to current score. 
This simply means that your high score has changed and it will therefore be updated. If we didn't guess the number correctly, the blocks we put inside the else statement will be executed. For every wrong guess, our current score will be reduced by 1. We can do that by using the following blocks. We also want the hint text to display whether our guess was lower or higher than the target number. We'll need another if do else block for that. Now add the following blocks to check if the current number is lower than the target number. If that happens, the hint text variable will display the message too low. Otherwise, we want it to display the message too high. Great, now let's code what happens with our buttons. We'll use the up button to increase our current number by one. Add the when button released block from the IO block section, select the up button from the drop down menu and put another if do block inside it. We don't want this button to have any effect if we've already guessed the correct number. We also don't want it to have any effect if the current number is equal to 20, since that's the upper limit. Let's add the following blocks inside the if statement to define these conditions. Now, let's increase the current number by 1 inside the do statement. Next, we want to be able to decrease the current number. You can duplicate this whole set of blocks we used for the up button and change it into the down button. We also need to change the blocks inside. The lower limit needs to be set to zero and the current number needs to be decreased by one. The A button will be used to enter the guess number function we defined previously. However, we first need to check if the target number has already been guessed correctly. To do that, add another if do block and put the following blocks inside. Amazing! Now we want the B button to reset the game. Add the when B button pressed and when B button released blocks. Define the variable game start as false when the button is pressed and as true when the button is released. We're done with the input. Yeah! Now we need to add another function that will draw everything we see on the screen. Let's call that new function draw. Inside that function, add another if do else block and place the number guessed variable inside the if statement. Inside the do statement, place the fill frame width block from the display section and set the color to green. Put that same block inside the else statement and set the color to black. This means that the screen will become green when the number is guessed correctly, otherwise it will stay black. 
Now let's write the message, guess my number at coordinates x equals 5 and y equals 5 in white, using the right block from the display section. We'll also draw a rectangle using the draw rectangle block. Set the width to 25, height to 20, x to 50, y to 25 and color to white. Now we want to write the target number inside that rectangle, but only if it's being guessed correctly. Add another if-do-else block and put the following blocks inside. Great! Now let's draw another rectangle. This one will be outlined. Set the width to 45, height to 25, x to 40, y to 50 and color to white. We'll write the current number inside this one. Let's also write the hint text variable at coordinates x equals 5 and y equals 90 in white. Now we only need to write the current score and high score. We'll use the create text with block from the text section for these two. Add the following blocks and adjust them as shown here. Finally, add the push frame block from the display section, otherwise nothing will show. This is what we want to achieve. Now we only need to add the loop forever block and define when these functions will be triggered. Put the generate numbers block at the start of the loop. Next, let's add the repeat while do block from the loops section and put the game start variable inside the while statement. We are using this game start variable to determine whether the game is running or is being reset. So while this variable is set to true, the game should be running. This means that the buttons need to be scanned and the draw function needs to be triggered. Add these blocks and put a sleep 50 milliseconds block as well. Great! Now let's define what happens while the game is not running. Add another repeat while do block and put the not and game start blocks inside the while statement as shown here. While the game is being reset, we still want the buttons to be scanned, since releasing the B button starts the game again. We also want to change the background to black. And finally, we'll add another push frame block and sleep 50 milliseconds block to ensure proper code execution. We're done with coding. If your code looks like this, it means you managed to code the game the wacky robots created. Good job! You are now ready to click on the run button. Try clicking the up and down buttons. When you decide which number you want to guess, click the A button to see what happens. Ah, I guessed too low! 
What about you? Continue guessing until you find the correct number. When you do, your current score will become your high score. Now press and release the B button to try again. Can you beat your previous high score? Well done! You programmed a new game onto your device. The wacky robots are here to congratulate you. If you want to put the stock firmware back onto your device, you can just go here and click on the Restore Firmware button. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next level!